His Excellency Mr. Arun Kumar Sahu, High Commissioner of India to Trinidad and Tobago, Mahatma Gandhi Institute for Cultural Cooperation and members of the High Commission and the Institute, Hindi Nidhi Chairman Mr. Chanka Sitaram, ladies and gentlemen, good day. It is indeed an honor to bring greetings on Hindi Day, September 14th, the day which marks the declaration of Hindi language as the official language of the Union of India. The significance of this dates back to the 14th of September, 1949, when Hindi, written in the Devanagari script, was adopted as the official language of India by the Constituent Assembly. It was implemented with the enactment of the Constitution of India with effect from the 26th January, 1950. Celebrated the world over, Hindi Day commemorates the effort of all Hindi luminaries in the preservation and promotion of Hindi language. Language is a unique identifier and is intrinsic to the communication of values, beliefs, rituals, and religion. It is inherent to how customs and traditions are kept alive. In today's environment, customs and traditions are threatened by the new age of technology and the influence of social media and globalization. And in the last 18 months, when in-person gatherings were prohibited, this became even more apparent. Tradition and its practice has become, in many cases, not celebrated as the norm. However, language and tradition is an important social construct, one that is critical to socialization and feelings of group identity and unity. It is therefore fundamental to cultural identity. I applaud the work of the Mahatma Gandhi Institute for Cultural Cooperation in ensuring that Hindi Day and what it seeks to commemorate is articulated through various activities throughout the year. In this, our rich multicultural society of Trinidad and Tobago, every creed and race finds an equal place. And the recognition of Hindi Day is an important means of preserving the opportunity to educate. I note that the Institute maintains a close and collaborative relationship with the University of the West Indies for the teaching of Hindi and contemporary Indian studies. I also note the integral role the Institute plays in the training of students in music and dance and the active role the teachers of the Institute have in the programs organized by local cultural educational and religious organizations through exhibitions, music and dance programs, lectures, workshops, and film shows. All of this augurs well in preserving the multicultural diversity of Trinidad and Tobago that we are so proud of, and I pledge the Ministry of Education's support for any additional avenues the Institute wishes to explore. I wish to thank His Excellency Mr. Arun Kumar Sahu High Commissioner of India to Trinidad and Tobago for the continued support and assistance to our country, most recently with the acquisition of vaccines to aid in the fight against COVID-19. I also wish to congratulate the Mahatma Gandhi Institute for Cultural Cooperation for its ongoing efforts to promote bilateral cultural cooperation between Trinidad and Tobago and India in the field of culture at both government and NGO levels. Best wishes to you on Hindi Day 2021. Thank you.